Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between Master and Student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time, until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila 
must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along.
Greetings, my young... Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. There is no ignorance. There is no passion. There is no chaos. There is no death. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our Order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our Order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our Order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Hmm. 
Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on how to construct it.
Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every Jedi, the threat of the Dark Side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the Dark Side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the Dark Side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you.
Greetings, apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? With power comes responsibility. And only by learning discipline and sacrifice can we truly learn to master our potential. I wish you luck in your training, apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Greetings, apprentice. Soon he feels you will attain the rank... There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. But be warned, Apprentice, they are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. The Council has decreed you may... It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The Grove can be found to the south and east in the plains. But be wary of Cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the Grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, yes. Those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife, Rilke, here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. 
He should have been protecting her better if he wanted to keep her. Mandalorian beast. Some of us don't like fighting and killing and butchering as much as you. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. They're pathetic. They're taking scraps when they should be taking worlds. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. no, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yeah. May the Force be with you. Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better, and you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Please, I beg of you, find the Mandalorian raiders and destroy them so my daughter can rest in peace.
in Chiu Apenki, Ang Duamaji Human Act in Intertune, Chi Ita Kangki Chang Na Kilikon, Chi Wak Ep Aita Kangki Chi Wi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha, Agi Inko Tune Chiu Na Mori Ra, Ang Duamaji Kon Na, Tong Ki Pa Nong Tu Nek Abom, Kakinja Nawabakaon, Bagwa Shang Kanti Machit Om, Chiwa Ekaita Kang Kicha Na Kyukor Nipo, Kun Muli Ras Nimo Poi Wanga, Tangi Duama Ji, Human Act in Tikatune, Chiwi Aita Katong Kicha, Agi Inko Tune, Chuna Muli Ra, Tangi Duama Ji Kon Na, Tong Ki Pa Nong Kun Nek Abom, Tong Ki Duama Aki Inko Tune, Kotong Ki Duama Ji Aki Inko Tune, Tong Pa Nong Kun Nong Nek, Chiwi Aita Katong Kicha, Ki Muli Ra Kun Kin, Kin Ba Nong Kun Nik Dota, Chiwa Ep Aita Kang Kicha Na Kupor Nipo, Kun Muli Ra Slimo Poi Wanga, Tong Ki Duama Ji Human Act in Tika Tune, Uchua Penki, Tong Ki Duama Ji Human Act in Tika Tune, Chi Ita Kang Ki Chan Na Kili Kun, Chi Wa Ep Aita Kang Ki. Ba Ba Hassan Shan, No Ba Muli Ra Ki Lai Kuka, Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not closed. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. None of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Well, yes, it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid. But he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. 
If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. That'll show you. <laughs> <laughs>
given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No, please! Take my wife and children instead. Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea.
Chuta, Unga could be to be Kikuriana. Don't Patugas Bakelia. Unga could be Hunga. When a good day is Ching Palamule, Hunking Damuda, two fling to Kunde, Mulevis, Muchasha Paka, Kino no Dama Paule Rachiku. ガチチュウリタボドンガトルドバンクオレオガンダナルチュチュウレシャポンガボラワナチャンネルアムレスリモポダダラカクービスウレラベスジェドバドワナニディボボトンガブンシャニュニャトンガトカシマタレラトンガ
Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handed Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Greetings, Apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cordonetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? In injured? No, of course not. Why, why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run, I don't know if I mentioned it. How can I be of further assistance? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. So, what do you want to know? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want to know? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those calf hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot, and pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body, and the Eriaz was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? 
So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out hunting Eerie as south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. Right. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Is there any other information you need? Very well. Ah, uh, Dunga <laughs> Tung patuka smak telea. Tung hait wam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto dun. Chilamulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Muchashat pakat. Kie no no nama paole rachiku. Kupa <laughs> Tong hait wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto dun. Jilamulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Ta kumjus tahmiki grabu mogo. Kachi chu ita bodunga. Dolpa bank waleo ganda naru chuchu. Mogesha punga, bola wana chine. A mule slimo, poda da da nanga, kumbis, mule rabes. Ka chikun ida haodonga. Ye king kuno pa mule ra chikun. Slimo podo na, undi haodonga ku, unkabe. Mogeshat pakat. Kiye no no dama paole ra chikun. So, what do you want to know?
Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So, what do you want to know? You Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. So, what? Right. How can I be of further assistance? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a... reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Is there any other information? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a Speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Very well. How can I be of further assistance? But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course. Oh. So, what do you want to know? Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Durang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. Oh, 
Kupa ce kupa? Gino Mulera Kimpaja Slimo Podwama? Ka chikun ita haldonga i kinkuno pa mulera chikun Slimo Podona Gundi haldonga ku hunkabe Takunju stak miki grabul mogo kachichu ita bodunga tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut mole shapunga bola wana chikne ba mule slimo hodada nanga kumbis mule rabes kachikun ita haldonga i kinkuno pa mule rachikun slimo bodona gundi haldonga ku hunkabe Mucho shot pa tap. Kie no no da ma paole. So, what do you want to know? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Right. How can I be of further assistance? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. <laughs> Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Is there any other information? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot see... I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Very well. How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I... Uh, a Koopa? Uh, a Koopa? Che Koopa? Gino Mulera Kimpaja Slimo Podwama? ドンガ君ハンカビ。ワナ君ベース、チンバラムレ、トンキンバーノノタク。トークニンチャトゥコンデ、ムレラベス。カチコンイタハドンガ。イキンコノバムレラチコン。スリモポドナ、ドンディオ
I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I was just out running, trying to clear my head. Of course, of course. So, what do you want to know? Right. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Jitter by the one in Nigibobo. Tong na bungsha nununya, tong patukas magtalea. Ka chikun ita haldonga, iking kuno pa mulera chikun. Simo po donar, hindi haldonga ko kung kabe. Kunhankabi, <laughs> Ta kumjus tak miki grabul moglo kachichu ita bodunga tolba bank wale oganda nalu chuchut mole sha punga bola wana chikne wa mule slimo foda dala nanga kumbis mule rapes kachikun ita hodonga ikin kuno pa mule rachikun slimo fodona rundi hodunga ku kabe ロンドディホトンガクンハンカビオナクンベスチンパラムレトンキンバノノテトクニンチャトゥコンネムレラベストンハイトワンジジジョンプンパリタポエティキトドルパダポンゴレオガンドナチュチュカチチュイタドンド
will be your doom! I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Yes, I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? I have fallen, and dark power courses through my veins. 
I can never go back to the council, so here I shall stay. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? Lies. Leave me and come back when you have the courage to finish your task. What is it you... The Council has... Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. The Council may forgive a lot. I am lost. Leave me to my... I do not know. It is. It was up. Leave me to. I do not know. It is. It leave me. I do not know. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. How can the. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. 
I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C-842, a personal assistant droid. As I said, I am C-842, a personal assistant droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people, please. Will you destroy me? Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. Die! 
That'll do
My droid is still missing. I can feel him like a hole. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. <coughs> Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. I... I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. Samt and I got to talking and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me, and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you.
You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you.
I demand justice. The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards.
This is private property. By what authority? The council. If you are here because of Shen Makale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Makale witch hunt. Mira left order she was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Mira will meet with you there. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I feel great sorrow at the young Metallier's disappearance, but they are not the only family to suffer such a tragedy. Dantooine is a dangerous place. My own son, Cassus, has been missing for some time now. But I know nothing about the disappearance of Shen. Perhaps he and Cassus now share a similar fate. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out? If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him. 
But there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassis. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed, and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared.
I have been informed by... I brought... Jedi are... I trust you will show yourself out? If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the... My name is Rahasia. My father is a good... You must understand that my father has kidnapped Shen. I see. No, I'm afraid. Shen is an innocent. Please, take this key. There are many. Shen and I, we. But I met Shen, and Shen, we, we talked. Please, find. The Force fights with me! I will add you.
I will add you. So this, I will add
Yeah. Ah, so this is the... I will add...
What can I do? What can I do? Ah, I will add you. Yes. Yeah. Ah, so this is the... I will add... Oh, <laughs> 
What can I do?
Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. This is the meddler. I will add you. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. I will add your... I will add you. 
What can I do? Yeah. Sure. Ah, uh, now I will add your head to... Thank <laughs> you. 
Can I do what? Ah, uh, so now th I will add.
I'm here.
I'm here. What? Nothing more to say to you. Dina, strict instructions. He was not the. Cassius is dead. Then it is as we feared. I will be sure Yurik is given this news. Then it will break his heart. But even under these circumstances, I cannot let you in. You may give the diary to me. Take his credit. Pay our reward for recovering his son's diary. What?
No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father... There are many security droids guarding the hall. Please find... Oh, 
No problem. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Rescue me. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. My father thinks the Sandals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. What are you doing here? Have you found... Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father... But I know Shen would rather die... You're back. Have... I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral State undetected. But surely we can... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions.
Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. No, I won't. I don't care. Raheji and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father. No, father, I... Raheja! I am, father, and... You foolish... You expect us to just let them leave? You will not. We appear to be at an impasse. It is your fault. Me? I will not rest until... Indeed they shall.
How can I help? It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. I... I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. What would you like to know? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. It may be simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. I'm here. What? How can I help? Dantooine is a peaceful and pastoral planet. There are a few large communities. Mostly what you will find here are ranchers and farmers. I find it a tranquil place like few in the galaxy. The perfect site for the Jedi Enclave. You will like it here. Then I suggest we...
ャージーティーまたはムリラユアリッパーアキンコクンダーモバボーティーニャゴジョジョビティジャスクラディドパツリーモはい。It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Oh, 
The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. covered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us.
You shall fall. Yes? Revan and Malak found when they entered this temple. 
This must be where their journey down the dark side began. This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malak must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malak visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge, and some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. No, please take it. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the Council of your great deed. How can I help? No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are, well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your 
command of the force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. I was referring to the bond we share, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves? Most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Now, are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Good. On which planet were you born? Excellent. The current age is? Yes. Well, the truth is I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? This news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Starforge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Starforge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the Dark Side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. 
a connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Kachichuita Nita poe tikitu, dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut, kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto dun, chilamulane ni dubobo, wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Kachi kun ita haldonga, yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Takum just tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bondunga. Tolba bank, wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Pamule slimo podadana nanga kumbist mule rabest. Runda di hotunga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatukune mule rabes. Ka chikun ita hodonga. Yikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo podona rundi hodunga ku hunkabe. Muchashak pa khat. Ki yinuno dama paole ra chikun. Runda di hodonga kun hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek Tug nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes Ta kum jus tak miki grabble mogo Kachichu ita bondunga Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut Mogesha punga bola wana chikne Pa mule slimo podadana nanga kumbist Mule rabes, tong haid wam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu, dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut, kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto dun, chilamulane ni dupobo, wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. 
Kachikun Idahodonga, Ikinkuno Bamulera Chikun, Slimo Podona Rundihodunga Ku Hunkabe, We Ithanan Dayata, Wata Yuma Wama Huhu Nandetik, Ashatungi Patoga, Wano Kuspe Ching Palamule Donke, Runda Dihodonga Kun Hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek, tuk nin cha tukun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ita haodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun, slimo po donar di haodonga ku hunkabe. Kachikun ita haodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun, slimo po donar di haodonga ku hunkabe. We ita nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetik, asha tungni patoga, wano kuspe ching palamule donke. Runda di hodonga kun hankabi, wano kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek, tuk nin cha tukun ne mule rabes. Kachikun ita haodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo po dona rundi haodonga ku hunkabe. Runda di haodonga kun hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tuk nin cha tukun ne mule ra bes. We ita nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetik, asha tungni patoga, wano kuspe ching palamule donke. Ka chikun ita haodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun, slimo po dona rundi haodonga ku hunkabe. Ka chikun ita haodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun, slimo po dona rundi haodonga ku hunkabe. Kukuno no ba mule ra. Chi gratu lo da pograshi onio kompa chin tondo mochuba. Lo da ni takun. Ita patisa batua kachatutonga. 
Bagra sha kon ticha ko um. Chuba kaha, chopa chawachwish, yunku. Jodo jid bungarantan. Ka chikun ida haldonga. Yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwalea gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuta dun. Chila mulane ni dupobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Takum jus tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita dunga. Chikun ida haldonga, yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Takom jus tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita haldonga.